The FDA approving what's expected to be a breakthrough in the battle against a pandemic. The agency giving the green light to Pfizer's COVID pill. First, easy to use treatment that can be taken right at home. All right, Linda Schmidt here now with more on who will have access to the drug and how soon it will become available. Linda. Yeah, hi there, Stephen Laurie. Well, at least we have some good news to report here tonight. The Pfizer pill has been approved for high risk patients ages 12 and older. However, that means that not everyone is going to have access to the pill. The FDA authorizing the use of the medication called Paxlovid. Of it, and patients will be able to take it at home to prevent the worst effects of the virus. The most vulnerable patients will have access to the pill. In other words, those who have medical conditions such as diabetes or obesity, as well as older patients. The treatment could be available within a few days. However, the problem is that the supplies are limited here in the U.S. and around the world. There are currently about 65,000 treatments available here in our country. However, the White House COVID response team says Saying late today, the U.S. government has already bought 10 million treatment courses and Pfizer will be ramping up production. We will have 265,000 treatment courses of Pfizer available in January with monthly totals of pills ramping up across the year and all 10 million treatment courses delivered by late summer. Health experts also warning today that the pill is not a replacement for getting the vaccine and the pill can only work during the first few days of having symptoms. People have to understand that it is a very small window of opportunity to take this medication, only five days. So it only works very early on in the course of the disease. So if someone tells me I've been feeling tired and sleepy for six, seven days, I've had a cough, you can no longer uh, prescribe that drug. And health experts saying once again today, and they keep saying this over and over, the only way to get out of this pandemic is to get the vaccine. Steve, back over to you. All right, thanks, Linda.